This video is sponsored by you. Links to support the channel are in the description. I swear, if it's, if it's Swire Alter, I'm, I'm gonna kill myself. Oh man. Who gave her a drugs? But she already has a summer skin. Why give her a summer alter too? Because I don't think we're getting Aya and Swire Alter. Yeah, no new operators, so that would be really cringe. If the new operators are just the five stars, that would be really, really cringe. Okay. What? Okay. Swire Alter. Swire Alter! Wow! And he's a merchant. Merchant? Okay, that's Swire Alter on the. Uh... That's strange. Where are the merchants? Alter is, is it a double alter? Is it like, a double alter? Double alter? What the f? Why? Mirto swimsuit! Mirto swimsuit! Mirto swimsuit! What the f? Hey, alter? Why? We have double alter. Yeah, I don't know. No one asked for a alter. They saw the super video and said, okay, double it down. Let's make two alters! Yeah, why is Zwire an alter instead of a skin? All total, all seven total Zwire fans are shitting and coming right now. <laughs> oh, she's a medic? Why? Yeah, she's a medic. Who no one wants knows. a medic? No Actually, she's a medic because uh, go fuck yourself. She Look at the range! Uh, it's reaching the Moinar! Wow. It's reaching it's Moinar! It's the wall map. It's the wall and uh, map. it's keeping him alive from oh, all okay. those! <laughs> what the fuck is happening? <laughs> she, just she just completely erases uh, um, <laughs> enervation <laughs> damage. But this is just Swire! This is all. Yeah, this is literally <laughs> just a Swire. The elegant <laughs> wit! I think I speak for everyone when I say we should have had a new Abyssal Hunter event, but it would be yes, very Yeah, very honestly, clear. yeah, yeah, we honestly, should have had yeah. another Abyssal Hunter event. Yeah, when you have none of the better options, you use a Swire Hunter. <laughs> when you have none of the better options. She's good in early game. <laughs> She's good in early game? <laughs> Because NPC, NPC oh becomes playable technically, yeah. Zwire skin became playable. No, and, and Filmius? Oh! 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 Oh, 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 oh shit, it's your oh, Marvel post credits. Oh. We see we see Chen come Best out and say, up. so bad just happened. <laughs> and then and then there's like the credit sequence. Arc Knights 2. No. And so that's the end. That's that's actually the end. That was bye, the, bye, the, guys, the oh, worst bye, bye, bye. stream I've ever seen. What the f and Yeah, that was terrible. That was awful. Yeah. Terrible, terrible is an understatement for this shit. Well, that was something. Yeah, it was shit. Hello, Arknight's most hated YouTuber here, once again reminding you that the optimal way to watch my videos is on a 3DS. There are the two better options, not to mention the self retreat. They tried to balance way- I have a lot to say, and a lot I think about this event, so it's proving difficult to present these jumbled thoughts in a way that sounds at least somewhat sane. On first impact, as you saw, I thought this was literally the worst thing ever right behind the Holocaust. But I've had six months to think about it, and my take at the end will sound pretty strange to you, I think. So let's start with the banner. The most evident issue is the fact there is two alters. This is so far the only time this has happened. I see a lot of people not understanding why exactly alters are bad, and I get it. On the face of it, there isn't anything really inherently wrong with them. I can't give you an objective, true reason why having two alters in one banner gives me incurable depression, but I can explain why subjectively it makes me want to commit a hate crime. They are lazy by nature, uninspired, and often don't have a real reason to exist instead of a skin, or a new character. 
Alter fatigue is a very real thing. You can only recycle your own cast so many times until the players get sick of it. But this is not the only issue they have. These two girls in particular have more problems than a Discord eagle with BPD. Let's take Eya Alder. All in all, she's pretty similar to Chen Alder. Both are limited, broken, 6-star alters for someone who was already a 6-star. But Eya has some new and improved deluxe edition issues too. She's an alter of someone who was already a 6-star and that 6-star is very strong. If there is any unit that didn't need an alter upgrade, it was Eya Fiala. You know, at least Guard Chen was kind of dog shit. Not only that, she also already had a summer skin, so a summer alter on top of that feels even more uninspired and unoriginal. And I also want to put into perspective just how busted her kit is. Usually, medics in Arknights are overlooked and underrated by the community. There is some absolutely bonkers medics in this game, like Nightingale and Tilopsis, but the way they are broken is a lot more subtle. They don't disintegrate everything in range like a Chen Alter, so this leads to the community underestimating them. This didn't happen with Aya Alter. She is so broken that she managed to break through the medic curse of underestimation and make even the end player that can't read for shit realize she's balanced. Her main thing is literally just erasing elemental damage from the game, as a mechanic. Not only that, she also heals globally. Not only that, she can also heal elemental damage on enemy operators like Madrock. I think this clip from the official showcase explains my point the best. When Moinar isn't getting stunned by 10 of those flower enemies all at once, I think you understand what I mean when I say she removes the mechanic from the game. If this isn't a threat, no amount of elemental damage will ever be a threat anymore. It's absurd coverage on the entire map. She's so overtuned, it's crazy. Though I can't say the same about Swire Alder. She's strong, but not broken at all, so I won't be talking about her kit. Swire Alter has a different set of issues that are more about her design and actual character. First of all, this is just dripping with uninspiredness. Is that even a word? I don't care. It feels very money grabby to release a really awaited skin as a 6 star operator you got a role for. Secondly, this has the exact same issue as Chalter, where it's literally just a Zwire on vacation. Why is this an alter? I hear people cite the reason that she got an alter because out of the LGD trio, Zwire was now the only one that sucked. Oshiguma is very decent, Chen got a broken alter, and now Zwire got a pretty good alter too. But this is a meta reason. In my opinion, for an alter to be justified, they need to 1. have a lot of character development, and 2. have an in-universe reason to exist instead of a skin. Something that requires them to be an alter. Scuddy Alter works because she is, literally speaking, a different character. Lava, Hibiscus, and Cruz alters also work. They require to be altered. Here they just put Zwire in a swimsuit. I will give you she has some amount of character development, but not nearly enough to justify an entire new character. I think it's time to come to a conclusion. As I think I've explained, these two operators pretty much represent everything wrong with the game in one way or the other. So what's my final take on it? It's fine. Yeah. 
I know it's an odd conclusion after explaining in detail everything wrong with this event, but let me explain. Almost every issue I described in this video is a matter of expectations. Think of it like this. If all of this happened in the Blue Archive, nobody would bat an eye, because it falls perfectly in line with the expectations set by that game. I surely wouldn't have an issue with it if I played that game. I would be too busy masturbating to Fuka. The thing is that Arknights set some very, very high expectations with Year 1 and Year 2, and now it's heading in a completely different direction. So is it the game's fault for not holding up to those expectations set 2-3 years ago? Or is it our fault for not changing our expectations from year 1? Let's go back to Chen Alter. What was her list of issues? Being lazy, limited, and alter for someone who was already a 6 star and broken. While some of these still apply, would you really call being limited and an alter an issue anymore? The fact Eya isn't receiving nearly as much scrutiny compared to Chen, despite being basically the same event, proves my point that this is about expectations. At the time of Chen, a summer broken-ass limited alter came out of nowhere. It was like a FNAF jumpscare. Ultimately, this event, as much as it sucks, didn't have any adverse effects on the game long term. Sure, until Arturia the events are gonna be so mediocre I'm sure my 10 year old brother could design better ones, but the Leto event is f***ing awesome. Said Arturia is great. We don't talk about the new CC. And Ray is cool too. Maybe it's time for us to readjust our expectations and stop being stuck in year 2. Clearly, the game has evolved, and it had to to remain relevant all these years. Maybe summer events are a necessary evil. Hypergriff is a business, and it has to make money to stay afloat and support, like, four fucking games and an anime for some reason. I don't know why they're stretching themselves so thin, but they gotta make the money somewhere to support all of this. And you know what? I'll say it, there is much to enjoy about this event. Zwire Alter being a merchant is a perfect fit for her character. I can't think of a better archetype to put her in. Holy shit, I love Zwire Alter! Not as much as Gummy, but uh, wow! Make that 8 total Zwire fans, Mr. Calamarunfi! Also, her talent 2 name implies Zwire can defeat Wonder of You with money alone. The artworks are really amazing too. Eya Alter E0 is a bit weird champ, I don't know why she got that Roblox head shape, but her E2 is amazing. The actual gameplay mechanics and enemies are super cool too, except the little witch ship. And lastly, the side mode where you sell snow sand into prostitution is amazing. Though she got cucked really hard. Like, why did the snow sand not even get a skin? You may say the ship enemies and the Zwire Alter, like, as a whole, as an entity, are completely tone killing. Like, they just murder the tone of this entire game. But you know what? I don't care anymore. Embrace the goofy. Will I ever be able to take this game's narrative seriously again? Fuck no, but I am fine with that, honestly. So yes, I did roll for Eya Alter and Zwire Alter. Even if I had to spark for Eya Alter, holy shit I was unlucky. This is my act to prove that I've had a character arc, and I am no longer stuck in year one. At the end of the day, Eya Alter is everything wrong with Arknights. But it's not that bad. That's all. Max out your gummy. Bye.
thank you to all of the channel members, uh, it must be tough uh, watching my stuff uh, unironically. Uh, special thanks uh, to uh, Nubupo, Lord Takeo, Come to Brazil uh, and Chrome Chan but uh, JJF. Uh, have a good one. Other hole.